The Little Stink. From Tom Brokaw, author of The Greatest Generation. In your pursuit of your passions, always be young. Philip Bonham Larimore, Jr., born January 4, 1925, was about two weeks old when the first letter about his birth arrived at his parents' home at 565 South Home Street in Memphis, Tennessee. The note from his mother's childhood friend, who lived deep in the backwoods hill country of North Arkansas, said, Dearest Ethel and Philip, there is nothing that brings the happiness and joy of a little babe. You can never realize just what they mean to you until you keep them a while and feel your very life bound up in them. I wish I could see the little rascal. Of course, he had to be a junior. It is almost always that way with the first one. Kiss that little stink for me. Ever fondly, Alta. After little Philip began walking and talking precociously early, he never slowed down and quickly became the prophesied little stink. His tendency toward delinquency happened because he was a latchkey child. His father was a Pullman conductor, gone for days at a time, and his mother was a legal secretary. The succession of Negro nannies tried to keep him in reign, but to no avail. Even two years at Miss Lee's school of childhood did not tame him. During the annual Chi Omega May Festival for Children pageant, four-year-old Philip joined the other pupils of Miss Lee's for the Alice in Wonderland segment. He was given the part of a bumblebee, along with one of his best friends, Luke McLaurin. Unfortunately, Philip was too hyperactive to remain in the flower he and Luke were assigned to. Master McLaurin screamed at Philip to return to their blossom, which did nothing to affect Philip's improvised role as a young bee freely buzzing around the stage. The audience chuckled as his mother sat mortified. 